say it's how long you last. The male of the new species, it's a lot larger. Leg spans up to nine, nine and a half centimeters, I think we're about now, is one of the, the records. The abdomen's a lot bigger, the legs are a lot thicker, the copulatory organs are a lot bigger as well. It's just an all over bigger spider. Um, and there are some little slight color variations which can happen in the other Sydney funnel webs as well, but they even move slightly different. It's again, something you might not pick up if you saw it once or twice, but when you see them every single day, it is definitely noticeable. So when we go collecting them, this is about the size we're, we're expecting. Um, it's amazing. This size is still capable of killing someone my size. So very um, medically significant. Now when we look at it and you see the size of this one next to it, it's substantially larger. So it's extremely exciting. The funnel web antivenom will work across the board. The one that the Australian Reptile make Australian Reptile Park makes from the Sydney funnel web works across all species of funnel web. So there's nothing to worry about there. This particular spider is a lot larger. Its venom glands are a lot larger and its fangs are a lot longer. So there is a possibility for possibly a deeper penetration through gloves possibly. And also a, the venom glands are larger. So there's a chance there might be more venom injected. But I, I feel like they're a little bit more docile. The card. Now we have it confirmed that it is a different species. There's a whole bunch to learn about it. They have been found primarily at night, the same as most other male funnel webs would be. Sometimes you might find them in a garage or in a bedroom or somewhere in the house where they might have wandered in during the night and then they get sprung the next morning when the people are out and about moving, you pick up a towel or a sheet off the floor or some shoes and the little male has been hiding there overnight. Um, I would not recommend touching them, that's for sure. They do give copious amounts of venom. Um, when I was extracting venom from these ones, they do give a lot of venom. So yeah, definitely not a hands-on. Talk loud enough or if I go and exhale, you get a bit of movement too quickly. It's just not often you find something that's visible to the naked eye, living in suburbia around a lot of people and, and their houses, to actually be found out that it is something that's new to what we now know. That's amazing. I think that's so exciting and it's refreshing and it's time to start working on learning more about this spider.